everybody, Spartan here from SpartanTrading.com. I want to hit you guys with a little bit more options basics today. And in this video, what is rolling? Very basic concept, you may have heard it before if you're trading options or just started trading options. What is rolling? Um, you've probably heard it from, you know, maybe experienced traders or just people talking about it um, as they trade. It's a fairly simple concept. Um, and basically what it's used for is to make sure that your profits that you are making on one contract can be used to take another position without taking on more risk. And that's a big thing and a big um, advantage when you're trading options uh, that you can obviously um, do when there's trends that are intact either to the upside or the downside that stay intact for extended periods of time. So let's talk about this um, a little bit more. So the action of rolling a contract. So definition, I created this definition, there's probably something similar online, but rolling a contract using the profit from a previous open position or option position, I mean to say, on the same ticker to buy a new position. So let's say you're, you're trading SPY, for an example, you buy one contract of the SPY 270 calls, April 3rd expiration for $2.47, you sell them for $5.47, so you made $300 in profit. You use those profits from that initial position, so that $300, to buy a higher strike on the same ticker or at a longer um, expiration date. So you can take the same date at a higher strike or you could take a longer expiration date at a higher at a higher spri stri um, strike as well if that's what you want to do. If you want, maybe you want to hold the position overnight or a little bit longer than a week, you can do it that way. So in this case, we'll talk about um, using that $300 from the first position, to buy 270 calls, that $300 profit to buy a $280 call same strike, three bucks. So a higher strike, um, I'm only spending the profit on that new position, so my risk should be zero. Or, you know, if I wanted to go longer dated, I could buy the, you know, April six calls, and obviously you're gonna have to go a little bit further out of the money because there's gonna be a little bit of premium built into that longer dated um, contract, so it's gonna be a little bit more expensive. The 290 calls are $3. Now, let's talk about this from just a more visual standpoint so you can get a better understanding of it. I think it's a fairly basic concept and most of you are gonna understand it, but this can help some people that are a little bit more visual. So original position, April 3rd, 270 calls. Um, on this position that you take, and I typically always like to go, you know, three to one risk reward ratio. So if you're gonna risk 100 bucks, try to make 300. If you're gonna risk, you know, 200, try to make 600, so on and so forth. That's just the minimum risk reward that I look for on any position I take. So in this case, April 3rd, 270 call risk, hundred bucks profit $300 if it works. So let's just say, you know, you know, it's going to work out this first time. So your risk is a hundred, your profit's 300. So total profit on this position, 300 bucks. Now, when we start to roll a position, you can either roll a full position. You can roll part of the position, you know, half of it, a quarter, three quarters, whatever you want to do. Um, as you increase your size while you're trading options, you'll probably not roll the entire position. You'll probably roll like one half of it. And the reason why is you kind of want to protect some of the money that you've already made just in case that position fails. So let's look at both examples, rolling the entire position, then rolling half of it, just to keep it simple. So April 280 calls five full rolls. So you're rolling that full $300 into the new strike. Your risk on that contract or on that new position is now zero bucks. If that contract doesn't work, let's say it goes to zero, which you know you could exit before obviously goes to zero, um, you're gonna lose no money because you're just using that profit to take that new position. Now, if it does work and you make another $300, let's say you, you're only looking for a hundred percent gain on that um, roll position, you now are up 600 bucks on that um, original option trade. So you can kind of see the advantage there where the risk gets reduced to zero and you have all the upside, all the reward side, if it continues to you know, go in your direction. Let's say that you are rolling only half the position, you know, same thing, you know, you made it, you're trying to make 100%, you made 150, now you're up $450 um, in total. So you can see the advantage there. Now let's talk about if it doesn't work. So you, your original position, $300 you made, you rolled the entire position, your risk is zero, your profit is zero, so your total profit is zero. So, you know, obviously just a little bit of time and effort are gone from taking that position then rolling it, but there's no risk and there's no downside to your, you know, bottom line. In this in this case you know there's obviously could be a little bit of commission associated with buying the one contract but in this case it's it's pretty minuscule right let's talk about then rolling half of it and then that half failing so 
this is kind of the power of rolling when you, you know, if you don't roll the entire amount, um, when you do start to play with a little bit larger size, because if things do go wrong, you're still walking away with money, but you were able to take an opportunity to where you can make, you know, quite a nice, um, decent amount of um, upside if it did work. When most options traders trade, um, and if they're experienced, when you get momentum to the upside or the downside, you'll start to see them, you know, rolling and continuously rolling. My, I myself will roll a contract until it stops working. I'll continuously roll it, go to the next strike above, go to the next strike above. And typically in this environment, what I'll do is if I want to hold something overnight, I'll go out to the monthly contract. And the reason why is the premiums, the, the premium decay can be quite extensive. If you're wrong, um, overnight on the direction, let's say you're in a, in a stock like spy, you have a contract for the same expiration that you had the previous day. It gaps down. It's probably going to gap the market gaps down. You had a call probably going to gap down 50 to 70%. It could recover. That's absolutely. But if you go a little bit longer dated, let's say you went to a monthly, it's going to be more expensive. Sure. So you, you won't be able to take as many contracts, but if it does gap down and it recovers, you're not going to lose nearly as much premium. So it's something to think about in that regard. If you're going to be swinging stuff, Certainly when there's momentum intraday, I love to roll contracts and I'll go, you know, to the next strike higher, or maybe I'll go a couple strikes higher, depending upon how much um, upside the contract has, but it's a, you know, great tool to be doing and a great, um, thing to be practicing, especially if you're learning to trade options, because you can implement this with, you know, little to no, um, ease as you look and find positions that seem to be holding trends either to the upside or the downside. So that's the whole concept there. If you guys have any questions for me, you can, you know, obviously go to our website, www.spartantrading.com or go to the, um, our email or my email, I should say Spartan at SpartanTrading.com. Shoot me an email. Happy to help. Other than that guys, thanks for watching. And, uh, I'll talk to you guys next week. See ya.